The Holy Roman Empire was complete, and for the moment, both Germany and Italy swore fealty to Barbarossa. Alas, the peace was not to endure. The Crusader states in Palestine were crumbling. A Saracen king named Saladin had evicted virtually every crusader from their castle. The Pope called for a new crusade before the Holy Land became Saracen once again. Remarkably, Barbarossa agreed to undertake this new crusade for the Pope he had fought so hard against. King Philip of France and England's Richard the Lionhearted had already boarded ships bound for the Middle East. But Barbarossa's army was the largest by far, and there wasn't a fleet in Europe that could transport it. The Emperor would have to march overland to Constantinople and through the land of the Turks to reach the rendezvous in Jerusalem. Constantinople was the capital of the Byzantine Empire and one of the most glorious cities on the globe. Barbarossa's army would be able to rest and resupply in Byzantium before it began the Great March. Your Imperial Majesty, we must cross the Sea of Marmara to reach the Holy Land. Yeah, yeah. Two places where yeah, we might yeah. commandeer ships. The weak port of Gallipoli, or the heavily fortified city of Constantinople. An abandoned house? No, a Saracen ambush! Transports, my lord emperor. But I fear a Saracen warship rule the Aegean. You may lose them and the men.
Unlimited.
Seljuk fortress is by many onagers. If we could capture those, it would make this trek through the wasteland a bit easier. Please.
is a Frederick Barbarossa? What happened? You look like hell. Head for the castle. You can rest there. before you continue your journey to the Holy Land. Barbarossa's weary army had marched for hundreds of miles through the cracked mountains in the heat of July. So when it stumbled upon the Goksu River, the men were astonished and grateful. Barbarossa himself could not resist plunging into the cold water without even pausing to remove his armor. To the disbelief of the surviving troops, Barbarossa drowned. Some said the emperor could not swim in his plate armor. Others believed that his 67-year-old heart had finally given out. Regardless of the exact cause of death, Barbarossa's crusade ended there on June 10, 1190. The Holy Roman Emperor was gone.